If you'll recall, molecular formulas are the true formulas versus empirical formulas, which represent the smallest whole number ratio between the individual atoms of a compound. So here we have the molecular formula for glucose, C6H12O6, and it's empirical formula CH2O. Again, just meaning for every one carbon, there's got to be two hydrogens and one oxygen. Now, considering that the molecular formula and the empirical formula represent the same molecule of glucose, what's the difference? Well, clearly, it's the number of subscripts. What multiple do we need to use in order to go from CH2O to c 6 h 6 I hope it's obvious to you. The multiple is the number six. And this is important information to be aware of when you're trying to solve a molecular formula starting with an empirical formula. You have to find the multiple that will yield the true molecular formula. Let's go ahead and compare.